Hey, welcome back. In this video, I just want to talk about the difference between passing an argument by reference and passing an argument by value when sending stuff into functions and C++. So this is pretty much the exact code that we had in the last video. We defined a structure called person with, a, with two fields here for name and age. Then we have a function here that returns a structure type. Notice this and sign here. We're actually sending, uh, we're actually sending our arguments in by reference passing by reference. So whatever we do here to w inside this function, um, whatever got passed in as w, so for example we're going to pass in a down here, uh, we'll actually we'll be updating the input in the main function where we're passing it from. Very different from passing by value where we cannot do that. So inside the main function we say that there's this person a structure uh, and we're going to start off by saying that the name is Bob and the age is 20. But then we run the function, so we actually allow, we pass a in here, we pass a into the read input function, and then we allow the user to change, you know, w.name and w.age, but when we return w, that overrides whatever the input was for a. So if we build and run this, um, we're going to run the program and see what we get. All right, so I'm going to enter a different name that's not Bob. We'll say Braden, and an age that's not 20, let's say 100. Now, when I hit enter, it says person A's name is Brayden and they are 100 years old. So let's look at why that happened. We're actually seeing out A.name and A.age. And that means that somehow this read input A function, when we passed in A and then the result had come, or when it, when it returns a value, it actually updates A because A.name after we've ran this is now Brayden. And A.age after we've ran it is now 100. It's no longer 20 or Bob. So that's an example of passing something by reference. We're actually literally changing the input of the, pro, uh, of the variable that we're inputting into it. Now, if we get rid of this and sign, uh, now we're no longer passing by reference. Uh, where there's no and sign, that means we're going to pass by value. So when we run the program this time, passing in our argument by value, the exact same thing is going to happen. It's going to start out as a.name is bob, a.age is 20, and then when we get to read input A, we're, we're passing A into read input. And now here it becomes W, and so we can change whatever we want, W name, W age. Uh, so again, let's do this. We'll say Braden and 100. But when I press this, we're going to be input, outputting something slightly different at last. Now it says person A's name is Bob, and they are 20 years old. So notice by running read input, by passing A into read input, it's not actually updating A in our main file, in our main uh, function here uh, because a.name is still Bob and a.age is still 20. That's what it's printing out. It's printing out a.name and a.age. So that's because we're not passing by reference, we're just passing by value. Um, but if you do, for example, that doesn't mean you can never you know, extract some important stuff out of this function. For example, if you wanted to uh, see out, uh, for example, just one like the name uh, that we've entered here. We have read input a uh, dot name, and then we'll end line. And you'll see that actually above that previous sentence we get, we're going to be getting whatever name we put in there. So we're still passing by value, but now if we actually want to get something useful out of that, um, we can go like this. Um, so we'll enter Braden. Again, we can put in 100 or whatever. And when we hit enter here, notice there's going to be one extra line that comes up. So it says Brayden, and then it bumps down a line, and then it says person A's name is Bob, and they're 20 years old. So again, here when it says person A's name is Bob, and they are 20 years old, it's definitely grabbing the information from A.name is Bob, and A.age is 20. But here, the line above it, where I've um, where it just says Brayden here, just kind of floating by itself, that's because I went C out, you know, read input A.name, and in that, we we passed in A, so we passed in Bob and 20, um, and then when we, that comes in here, and then we actually override it, so w.name and w.age, and when we return that, the, the, the value that we're returning for this function, uh, we can single out and just print out the name if we want, and uh, that'll actually reflect what we've typed in there. So same thing, if we wanted, we could do age, um, just age. I don't want to do both of them because it'll actually try and it'll want to prompt me to run the program twice if I put read input a dot name and then read input a dot age. It just gets messy. But this is just to show you that you know obviously you can extract information even if you're passing by value. 
it's just not quite the same process. And also you're not actually changing the variables that are appearing as inputs in the main function. So anyways, we can just say something like grade in, and this time let's put in some other age like 99. So there you go. It's printing out that 99 to the screen because see out we're outputting we're, we're seeing out the output of read input specifically the age part and then bump down a line bump down another line we're seeing out the regular stuff a dot name a dot age so there you go um those are two examples of you know in one situation about what happens if you just change you know by passing by reference or passing by value again we can just add in that again and we're going to pass by reference again save all and then when we run that, just so you can see one last time, grade in 100. So there you go. Now it's back to saying a dot name. It's getting overrid overridden, you know, with whatever our inputs are because we have that and sign. And you know, I forgot to take out this line, so it's still printing that hundred there, you know. So, anyways, uh, that's when we're uh, trying to wrap your head around that, and you'll you'll really be able to know you know what kind of situations are appropriate if you want to overwrite something in the main function pass by reference if you just want to value um, pass by value